Sometimes we're fortunate and our tracks just sound great, but if we have the opportunity to make them sound richer, classier, more perfected, why not take advantage of that? This is where the British Class A channel strip can help. I'm going to bring up the drive section across all of our channels by hitting Shift, All, and bringing up the drive to 5. Take a listen as we bypass and engage the British Class A. It polishes the edges of the sound while adding some additional musical harmonics. Thank you for running to the fire, helping those you never knew. What you've done forever will inspire a rising to the call. By taking advantage of the drive section of the British Class A, we've already enhanced our mix. Let's listen to how we can affect our vocal. The first thing I'd like to do is cut out some of the low rumble as we cut the lows, there's a slight reciprocal boost in the low end to retain the bass and not make it too thin. Thank you for running to the fire. I'm then going to want to enhance that low end a little bit more with a tiny boost. Cut out some of the mid range that gets muddy. And then open up the top end. Last, we'll add a tiny bit of compression to smooth everything out. That's like magic on our lead vocal. We don't have the time to work on each one of our vocals, but listen to how a little bit of compression and a tiny bit of that low cut can clean up all three of the vocals and bring them together. We thank you for running to the fire, helping those you never knew. And now let's listen to the three vocal tracks totally dry and then with the British Class A engaged. We thank you for running to the fire, helping those you never knew. What you've done forever will inspire a rising to the call. Now I'm not the biggest fan of the direct guitar sound but we have a really nice opportunity with the British Class A, and that's that we have two different types of compression. So by hitting Shift, Compressor, we could select between the British Class A compressor or the British Class A limiter. We're going to crush the direct guitar sound and then parallel mix it. Then let's use the character knob on the drive section to warm it up and then open the top end back up. That's a nice improvement. Now let's listen to our mic guitars. Let's try cutting a little bit of the low end. Open it up by bringing the character up. and opening up the top once again. And let's compress that a tiny bit harder with a slightly faster attack to catch the transients. Now let's listen to our guitars in bypass and then engage the British Class A. Now for the bass, the British Class A has a really musical gait. There are some bass notes that are a little too long, so I'm going to use the gait to keep them under control. Boosting a little bit of the low end around 110 hertz. Maybe doing a little cut in the mid, just to leave room for the vocal. And then add a nice top end boost, just to get a little bit more attack.
The strings sound pretty good, but let's cut the rumble and open up the top end, and let's use a nice high ratio on the compressor. Perfect. And we're going to do something very similar with the piano. So let's go over to the piano and listen to this. Now on the stereo out, I don't feel like I need any additional compression because this is a pretty acoustic sounding track, but since we're presented with two bands of mid-EQ, listen how the two interact together. Thank you for running to the fire, helping those you never knew what you've done. Now listen as we bypass and re-engage the British Class A across our entire session. From vocals, to acoustic guitars, to orchestral strings, the British Class A brings a sense of status and class. Our track was sounding good in the beginning, and take another listen. Now you really feel good. That's the sound of the British Class A.